Well, hello all. Uh, Scott here. I'm going uh, to make another video here with a little bit more light in the cockpit because I wasn't happy with the, uh, the lighting on the last one. It didn't really show the panels too well. Um, so here I am in the cockpit. Uh, an FDS MIP, FDS CDUs, uh, some parts throttle quadrant, open cockpits radios, homemade radio bay, um, those are actual audio panels from a real 737, but they're not interfaced yet. Um, CP Flight MCP and EFIS units, EL series. Uh, I got a Flight Illusions flap gauge up there, but it's not hooked up yet. So I'm using the software version contained in uh, ProSim or Sim Avionics. Right now I'm running ProSim. Uh, I do have Sim Avionics as well. Uh, kind of testing out ProSim right now. Um, so we're sitting in Ontario, California. Um, take a look up here. I've got real overhead panels from uh, I think a 737-2 or 300. Uh, real uh, frames for the overhead, um, which I had FDS put in um, when they did the panels for me. I had them put in actual deuce fasteners. So uh, the uh, they, they go right into the panel, uh, just like the real deal. So I'm going to go ahead and try to start up some things without messing everything up here. And uh, it's really hard to hold an iPad while I do this, so bear with me. Um, go ahead and uh, turn on the battery power here. Standby power. ground power turned on. It's available right now. You see my uh, flight illusions gauge just lit up. I'll come up here and put those over to nav. Uh, those indicators on DC, DC fail and fault are not working right now for some reason. I haven't figured out why, but I believe they should be going out. Um, Coming down the panels over here, flight control guards closed, spoiler guards closed, yaw damper on, alternate flaps guard closed, off position, navigation, normal, normal, uh, normal. Just turn on one fuel pump for the APU. And uh, again, the CPS frequency isn't working right now correctly. Um, I gotta work on that some more. Uh, on ground power. Equipment cooling. I'll turn on the no smoking if that's the seatbelt. Don't have the audio working for those right yet. And um, let's go ahead and uh, move those off. Yep, the displays just came alive down there. Um, just put in a position so we can finish the alignment. FMC position. Oh, it's in there still from last time, so that'll be fine. Start the APU up. The uh, flight illusions gauge, the EGT temperature while well, the APU is running is not calibrated right right now, so you might notice that. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that.